in every way, from SES's perspective, Africa is the next great new frontier. Over the last decade or so, there's been a tremendous move towards democratization within Africa. Africa, with its over one billion people, will have plenty of opportunities for the Americans, for the Europeans, for the Asians, but also very, very importantly, for the Africans themselves. All of this digitization, all of this infrastructure has the ability to create enormous wealth, first and foremost for the Africans, and then for all the other players that are contributing to the growth of the African economy. The upliftment aspect of what we can do with satellites, bringing services, bringing education, bringing access to information across Africa, is what is incredibly important to all of us who work at SES. What we bring is truly local knowledge from the ground, truly local relationships, and we're able to leverage that, ensuring that we're providing the right kind of capacity, the right kind of services, and the right kind of customer support uh, in the markets that we operate in. Satellites like SES-5 were developed specifically to target the Sub-Saharan African DTH market opportunity and was again designed in consultation with a number of customers that had an intention to do that uh, or to provide that service. SES-4 is another example of a great satellite that has been designed specifically to target the French-speaking parts of Africa. Another great example is a satellite that we've recently developed called Astra 2G that once again seeks to address the West African uh, market but also goes down into Angola because we're seeing a lot of mining activity and a lot of oil and gas developments going on over there. So lots of individually tailored satellites that have been developed in close cooperation with our customers to ensure that SES is meeting the requirements of the market, not just now, but also for decades in the future. When a company is coming and operating in a new environment, it needs help and handholding, and I think that's something that we've been remarkably good at. We will provide you unique information, marketing support, assistance with installers across Africa, for example. Something that is very, very difficult to come by if you were coming in on your own. But because you've got a partner that is African in every sense of the word, we have the ability to bring this entire plethora of services and knowledge and information that goes significantly beyond satellite capacity. We make sure that our sales teams around the world really have a good understanding of the African market environment. And because they know their customers, whether in Asia or in Latin America, and understand what those customers are looking for, growth in a new market, as an example, they have the ability to bring to those customers' attention opportunities that may exist, for example, in Africa. Let me take an example of a company that we work very closely with called StarTimes. Now, StarTimes is a, a Chinese headquartered Beijing that has been working long and hard in order to help digitize Africa. And the reason it works effectively when a company does it from the outside, unlike a domestic uh, company within Africa, is that if you try to do it at a national level within each individual country, the economies of scale are not as significant. What StarTimes has successfully done is it is leveraging its presence not across one or two, but over 15 to 20 countries across Africa using SES capacity in order to bring digital communications, and particularly in this case, digital television, to the masses across Africa. Satellite television in Africa was very limited to an incredibly wealthy elite, for the most part, for the last 20 years. And so here's a Chinese company that has come in and used its technology, its know-how, and its capability in order to develop a product that will generate good returns for it, but is intended for the mass market. Bharti is an example of a company that has been able to leverage its expertise and scale that it was able to develop in India in order to develop a solution for the African market. So given that Africa is a very low ARPU market similar to India, there's a lot of expertise in developing business models that generate a positive return for investors, despite the fact that these are very low ARPU markets. Markets that generate two, three, four dollars a month per subscriber, but even these, if they're done in the right business model, in the right business environment, can generate positive returns. The companies that we're working with are really looking to be a part 
of the development of Africa, not for the short term, but for the very long term. And these companies are going to see a really significant return on their investment and at the same time be part of the social upliftment that occurs across Africa. SES is far more than just a satellite company. By virtue of the relationships that we have with our customers, we have the ability not just to tell them that here's a satellite solution, but sometimes to introduce them to key partners, to provide them in-depth training, very often introducing them to Africa in a unique way where we're showing it through our African colleagues' eyes. It's not as simple as just providing satellite bandwidth. It's really about providing expertise about providing that unique insight that we have developed in each of our markets and making sure that we bring this together. SES should be the preferred partner and should be the satellite of choice because we've developed our satellites in incredibly close consultation with our customers. So there is a uniqueness in the way we've designed our satellites that is commensurate with the business plans that our customers have envisaged not just for today, but for many years in the future. SES has a global fleet of 56 satellites. We're the world's largest satellite fleet operator, and that comes with an enormous amount of experience in delivering world-class services at cost-competitive prices with enormous technical reliability. And so I think the combination of local expertise, tremendous technical knowledge, scale, all of that makes SES the perfect partner of choice for anyone looking to do satellite services into Africa.